I've, ju I've just jumped out of a dinner to come. I'm, I'm actually very rudely at dinner with one AirPod in my left ear listening in cheekily to everything that's going on. And I thought I'd just step out for five minutes and say hi. Because, um, um, yeah, the, the, the big question is, um, you know, you start with the why, and, and the why is um, because... For me, I can say, quite frankly, it's not about the money, it's about the execution. And um, what I believe that um, the sort of conglomerate can execute now is, is, is seriously game changing. Um, I put a post on LinkedIn yesterday um, with the old iPod ad with a silhouette that actually my wife campaigned when she was working at TBWA in London. And she came back with the poster and she came back with an iPod and I picked up the iPod and I put it in my ears and I listened to a, the quality was really good, but B it had about a thousand songs on it. And I looked at my Walkman and, and I kind of, I think I put my Walkman in the bin actually, because I didn't need it anymore. And that's kind of, you know, a loose analogy of um, what I think that, this combination has in store um, and, and I for one can't start yeah I can't wait to start working with Todd because um, yeah anyway that's that's enough said I think yeah so this is what we were talking right before you uh, joined Nick we were talking about different uh, commercial aspects of the deal which obviously you're probably not going to want to comment on right now but uh, for me personally the most exciting bit is the product side because obviously i know live dealer and you know i, I know some of your ideas um very high level so i think this is the most exciting thing but what we were wondering is um you know whether you think that this this will stay sort of this will stay evolution's main competitive advantage having access to to your ideas or or do you think this would also go down the route of licensing and franchise or or is evolution keeping it for their own i, I think uh, yeah I, I think the the ideas in 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 many ways will stay within the group i mean there's there's existing intellectual property like megaways and there will be further intellectual property that comes about that we you know potentially will license as a group as well I mean, I can't speak for evolution because, you know, A, you know, we, we're still like, even though we're exchanged, we're still to close. And, and, and once that happens, then, you know, the, 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 there'll be more. But, you know, but right now it's about, you know, intellectual property creation. Like that's, that's all my business has ever been about and it continues to be so. So, you know, and, and I have some, what I think are very radical ideas for, um, you know the, the the bigger picture of online gaming and 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 a reason why you know i think um who was who was chatting before oh, tim you, you you were talking about the fact that you know you've got to go out there you've got to get a thousand dealers you've got to do all this sort of stuff and there's me sitting sitting in you know big time gaming thinking if i want to execute this idea you know that that or, or of several ideas that i've had over the last sort of five or six years um then I've got to go out and do just that, you know, and as, as appealing as it seems to sort of build a live dealer business, um, you know, the, the, the sort of time to equation, you know, is, is, is exponential. So it was a kind of really amazing sort of la land on your lap moment when Martin and, and, and I met for the first time and started to talk. And we started to talk, and we talked for about five hours. Um, and a few meetings were cancelled that day. And that was that was some time ago, but you know, I, I think the um, it's, it's just a very interesting fit, our business and 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 and, and evolution. So yeah, Nick, a qu question from me. Um, obviously, for the listeners, in terms of doing such a, a mega deal like this, excuse the pun, how long did it take for you and Evolution to go through the process from first? five-hour meeting to today's date where the deal's been announced. And what was that process like from your side when you're trying to run a business but also execute a massive deal like this? What was the process like? Um, it was uh, steady as she goes, Tim. You know? But, but time frame? 
Uh, well, pre -COVID to make it all come together was pre COVID was the original talk, and then obviously COVID came and threatened the sort of you know it put put treacle on it, I guess. But you know, <laughs> as COVID did with a lot of things, apart from online gaming. Um, so yeah, it was it, it was it was a lot of um, great conversations that led us down a path to uh, you know the the acquisition, and uh, we're we're wholly delighted. You know the whole team are, and I think everyone at Evolution is delighted. It's just a great marriage, you know. Right, Nick, and can you tell us about the reaction of your teams? Because I mean, you have a pretty small team, so it's a very close emotional relationship with each one of your employees. At, at which point, you know, you told them, and what was their reaction? Do they share your excitement? Do they understand the vision uh, and where you could go together? Yeah, I mean, I mean, what, what, what you've got to understand about my team is that they've been like organically grown over 10 years and we're only just the size of a football team. So that that kind of, you know, it's, it's like, you know, Evolution is 10,000 people. We're kind of a football team plus a couple of reserves. So it's, it's kind of like ergonomic scale wise, it's kind of... <laughs> a, 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 there's a huge, there's a huge difference, but in, in terms of culture, it's all the same. And you know, that's 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 the factor about, you know, a culture of innovation, is like true to form at evolution, and it's certainly true to form with us. And 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 that kind of just, it's ex like the, the multiple on that is exponential of what we can apply on both sides of of the verticals that we, you know, operate in. Yeah. Do you expect any anything to change in your in your normal um, day days work, or do you expect this to be business as usual, just a, little, a lot more deal flow? I think it's. I think for, for me, it's business as usual. Um, you know, it's. It, you know, I'm, I'm still CEO of Big Time Gaming. Um, and I report into, you know, like Martin pretty much directly, and and and, you know, that's that's pretty much like I'll, I'll still keep running the business and, you know, talking with clients and you know, developing products. I mean, I'm I'm not a typical CEO. I'm kind of like on the floor every day. I'm you know, mm -hmm. building games. I'm I'm a games guy. You know, so it's like. It's, it's kind of probably, if anything, it's going to be a, an absolute net positive that I've got more time on my hands, not dealing with clients and not dealing with yep. like, all, all, all the sort of, you know, major like hurdles that you have running a, an online gaming business. You know, I, yes. I, I just have a clear track to just develop, which is, you know, my, my passion and why I'm here in the first place. Yeah, you know, so I agree. Like I said, net, net, net positive on all sides of the equation. Um, whichever way you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we ask you? Yep. Now I just wanted to ask you because we are very clear about the contribution that Big Time Gaming can make to EVO business um, in terms of product ideas, innovation, IP, you know, leverage and, and uh, sort of that innovation perception value. Um, but I'd be interested to, to hear from you. Do you think what can they contribute to your business to, to make it grow? Apart of obviously spreading the IP and so on, because, you know, you don't seem like you've been short of resources, short of funding, whatever. Uh, you just decided to keep it small and still make uh, amazing success with it. Do you see something that you can actually benefit for big time gaming specifically from this deal? Yeah, e execution of ideas across many verticals. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's part of my passion, really, you know, more than anything else to sort of like you know, I'm, I'm like like I've said you know, previously. I'm I'm super excited to be working with Todd. You know, he's a visionary, and you know, I I think when we sit down, to, like we've been sort of, you know, loosely chatting about when we do sit down for that first time and just open up Pandora's box, and and uh, I kind of get a flutter in my tummy, like <laughs> when I start to thinking about the things that you know we can. We can basically create, you know, it's, uh, it's magic. Yeah, agreed.
Good morning, uh, Nick, as well. And, and uh, first of all, uh, thank you for joining us uh, here this morning on, on short notice. Really appreciate that. And congratulations as well, uh, obviously. Uh, I have a question for you, Nick, uh, uh, as well. You mentioned uh, working with Todd, and, and we mentioned this here a little bit earlier in the call today before you, you joined, that uh, obviously Todd is uh, one of the biggest visionaries of the industry. He has uh, He's very highly regarded in the industry. And on the other hand, uh, so are you as well, Nick, uh, obviously uh, very, very highly regarded and seen as a visionary. Now that you two come together, can you talk a little bit more about like how do you see that working out? Uh, will you and Todd work on a very close basis together? Are you going to kind of form a, a team together or will you work mostly separate? Uh, how, how do you see this collaboration? I, I, I think it's um, a, a question of collab, you know, in, in the purest form. We'll be uh, working collaboratively on some things, um, no things and other things, and many things, you know, it's like, it's, it's, I, I have, like, I mean, look, I, I can only speak for myself. I have some I intriguing that. propositions for Todd, and I'm sure Todd has some intriguing propositions for me in terms of his um, wisdom, you know, in, in the gaming sphere. And, and I'm, I'm, like I say, it's just, it's kind of mind blowing um, what, what, like, what magic may happen or may not. I don't know. You can't, you know, it, I've got no crystal ball, but I think it's um, pretty much from ninety nine percent pretty good from where I'm standing now that, that we can uh, achieve real magic. And and the thing about you know technology, it is magic, you know, like until until you can break it apart and understand it, and and that's the thing. It's it's um yeah. It, that, the, the, you know, it's it, the, the, the the development of products holds so much kind of magic in it that we can weave together and build some incredible stuff. And like I say, I have my ideas. Todd has his ideas. I think the conversions of those two kind of disciplines that we're in will be pretty immense. Yeah. Bit of a roundabout question for you, Nick. Um, when you were going through the acquisition process, presumably you had a lot of suitors. Um, was Evolution the first and foremost uh, partner that you would have gone, or were you tempted? You don't need to give out the names. Were you tempted by any other buyers through the process? We've always we've always had suitors, you know, since kind of year dot really, you know, um, because of my sort of previous history of. You know, NC Media Orbis and Open Bet. It's kind of right. like get you know getting it, like the sort of attitude of getting early, get you know, and acquire something. So it's, it's been on, on, ongoing with um, you know lots lots of different you know individuals in the marketplace. But yeah, I mean it was it was kind of like the I guess it was a meeting of minds on 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 the kind of the spectrum of innovation that kind of help me make my mind up. Amazing. Thank you, Nick. I, I have another question, if you don't mind. Uh, here. We're mindful of time as well, Nick. So um, yeah. you mentioned at the start of the call that you aren't able to stay for, for too long. Uh, uh, do we have you for a few more minutes? Uh, how, how are you uh, with time in general? Be, uh, yeah, two or three minutes. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, and then I've got to jump. Yeah. OK, that, that's brilliant. Th thanks for that, Nick. Uh, I have one question. Um, you, you posted uh, in the press release, it was posted that uh, BTG had an EBITDA 2020 of around 30 million euro, which is, you know, in the same league as what Netant uh, posted in, in 2019. However, the organizations are vastly different with uh, Netant, obviously, 500 plus employees at that time. And, and on, the, on the contrasting side, you only had, like you mentioned, a football teams and a couple of reserves. How were you able to keep your organization so slim? While um, while being able to make those kind of, of uh, profits, magic in comparison to Netflix. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ma magic is all I can say. So, um, it's just uh, 19 hour days. You know, from like, don't get me wrong, I didn't work my team 19 hours. I worked my team 9 to 5 and expressed that they had to go home at 5, otherwise, it'd be useless. And they did. And they were great because they did. 
So, you know, a very ordinary sort of 1950s, 1960s work ethic of nine to five, go home and enjoy your life. Whereas I um, worked from 6 a.m. till 11, maybe 12, um, most days, um, sometimes weekends too, uh, just to get it done. And, and I think that's kind of, you know, if you put in double the hours anyone else is putting in, you're going to do pretty well. Right, yeah. Okay, Nick, I can vouch for that because I sometimes uh, it takes me six months to get a hold of Nick, um, you know, and we know each other, so I know that he's just super busy. So we let you go. Thanks for coming today. Um, I'm going to uh, keep chasing you because I have high hopes that you'll appear on my podcast so we can talk some stories down the memory lane, not necessarily commercials of the deal, uh, but go enjoy your dinner. Um, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks, everyone. And congrats. Thank you, Nick. Congrats, Nick. Congratulations. Good stuff. Mike. Thanks. All right, bye-bye.